Thank you, Terry, uh, and thank you to the awardees and the entire um, Deming Advisory Board. And good evening to everyone, and thank you for coming tonight. I am very proud to be standing here tonight as I hold the Deming Center near and dear to my heart for a number of reasons. First, I am a proud CBS alum. In fact, Nelson was one of my favorite professors, and since then, he's become an incredible mentor sponsor and champion for me. So thank you, Nelson, for everything. Second, I've been an advisor to the Deming Board for the last five years. And third, as an incoming CEO, I can attest to the critical role that operational excellence plays in a company's success. As many of you know, the Deming Center embodies the unrelenting focus on continuous improvement, a commitment to quality at all levels of a company, and the obligation to create long-term value for all stakeholders, for colleagues, for customers, and for our communities. This is the 10th year that we've awarded the Deming Cup for operational excellence, and I could not be more pleased for how the award has furthered the mission of Deming over the last few years. Thanks to this prestigious recognition, the center has attracted global business leaders who are luminaries in their field to participate through speaking and mentoring opportunities at Columbia. Leaders like Sam Palazzano, the late Sergio Marcioni, Terry Lundgren, David Cody, Douglas Baker, and my CEO and mentor, Juan Lermona Likes. Not only are these leaders worthy recipients of the Deming Cup, but they've generously devoted their time and energy to the academic community at CBS, enriching the educational experience and students in so many ways. My own involvement with the center has given me the opportunity to connect Zoetis to great ideas and to innovation. Nelson and his team have been incredible partners, along with the faculty of Columbia Business School, in driving the center's impact from the classroom to the boardroom. By connecting theory and practice and operations through energy, creativity, and the ability to bring new ideas to fruition. And two years ago, I was proud to host the board, the faculty, and PhD candidates and MBA students on a visit to Zoetis' Global Manufacturing and Supply Operations in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Through this field trip, we were able to give faculty and students practitioners first-hand knowledge of process improvements on a manufacturing production line so they could see with their own eyes the connection between theory and practice. They saw how a leading animal health company puts operational excellence into action every day for customers around the world. The dialogue and interaction between CBS participants and our colleagues was phenomenal. The curiosity of the students was insatiable. And these visits are a vital way for faculty and students alike to bring the learnings from far outside of the classroom and weave them into their teaching and their research. And I can tell you the experience was mutually rewarding for all of us at Zoetis as well. I've also personally enjoyed coming back to Columbia to guest lecture MBA classes based on my own journey and the lessons I've learned throughout my career and to meet and mentor women MBA students along the way. I especially even enjoyed the informal discussions with these leaders around impactful leadership, around business in today's world and work-life balance. These interactions are invaluable for our women leaders of tomorrow. But the truth is, they're also incredibly rewarding for those of us who have had the opportunity to interact and engage them. I know Lynn Green and Terry Lundgren have led similar forums. There's also the annual Deming Forum. And for those of you who have not sent high potential executives to these events, I highly recommend you sign them up. These are one-day forums 
that explore industry trends and research, such topics as digital innovation, supply chain innovation, and transformation, excellence in leadership, business excellence, and much more. And these are lively platforms for discussion and debate with fresh data-driven ideas that can be readily applied to each of our companies. At Zoetis, we've directly benefited from the impact of the Deming Center, from its peer networks to its professional development programs to doctoral fellowships and recruitment opportunities. Indeed, we have hired fabulous interns and many new colleagues at Zoetis who are thriving today thanks to this relationship. And we're fortunate to be partnered in the Deming Cup's journey and all that it signifies and all that it's doing to further W. Edward Deming's legacy. One closing thought. By honoring excellence, I believe we're extending it. The Deming Cup is so much more than an award, it is a heartfelt tribute to leadership at its best. And as I can attest, it's a lasting commitment to further operational excellence and growth in research, in teaching, and in practice to develop the next generation of business leaders. While we celebrate 10 years of the Deming Cup, the journey is just beginning. Each of you here tonight demonstrates the profound impact we have on the future of business worldwide. So on behalf of the Deming Center and Columbia Business School, we thank you for being our partners in this journey. I can't see what the next 10 years will bring. Thank you for your leadership and loyal support.